put this in there. If we take the length of the arc and divide it by 12, we can continue to produce smaller and smaller units of measure. Could you demonstrate for us? Surely, the arc measures 43 units. After dividing by 12, we can find that each unit is 3.58337 units. Each of these, after dividing by 12 again, equals 0.298611 units, or whatever we decide to call them. It's really quite simple. May I make a suggestion? Of course, Joseph, of course. Yeah. Why don't we design a system of measures based on 10 instead of 12? Wouldn't it be easier to multiply and divide by 10 instead of 12? Here, show us. Notice, gentlemen, that by using 10, a measurement can maybe be written in many different units just by using the decimal point. After all, we have 10 digits, 0 to 9, and our numbers have place values based on them, on 10. The 10s, the, the 100s, and so forth. Thus, 0 0.298611 meters becomes 2.98611 decimeters and 28.8611 centimeters and so forth. Aren't we lucky to be a part of this crazy uh, school here? It's the dream of a lifetime for me. I still can't believe that I get to study under the great Ranch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't either. I've read so much about him, and I've studied his masterpiece, Analytical Mechanics, but this will be something else. Do you think we'll be able to understand him? Find out soon. Here he comes. Let's begin. What do you think, Michael? Is he like anything you've ever heard before? He's incredible, Pierre. Absolutely incredible. I've never heard anyone <laughs> make difficult ideas so easy to understand. Wow. Our old professor tried so hard to impress us with how much they knew. They kept their knowledge to themselves, but did you see how he responded? That fellow in front of, in the front row asked his question, foolish question. Oh yes, I was so embarrassed for him. I would never have had the courage to ask anything. He obviously wasn't thinking well today. Yes, but did you see what Professor Lagrange did? It was as if he crawled inside the student's mind and saw the problem from his perspective. He saw exactly where the confusion was and how to clear it up. Lagrange always impressed his students. Although he was a genius, he was also incredibly modest. In fact, his most famous quote was, I do not know. Whenever he did not know, he worked harder to make sure that he did know. He eventually solved a question that mathematicians had been working to solve for years. When a series of figures have the same perimeter, which figure has the largest area? Later, he developed a mathematical formula explaining the gravitational attraction between the moon, sun, and earth. He's also discovered that an, any integer is the sum of four or less square numbers. He went to study for the king in Prussia until the king died in 1787. Then, Lagrange went to work for Louis XVI. He had a hard time working because he was very depressed until he fell in love. Go. Marry me, Lagrange! No. Marry me, Lagrange! Okay. One day, this little man will surpass all of us insofar as we are mathematicians.